Hi guys, my name's Alex. And my name is Nat. And we just started our YouTube channel called Crashing to Crushing. And we are gonna be documenting our weight loss journeys and sharing recipes and other kinds of vlogs with you. Crashing to Crushing actually comes from something very personal. We're both crash dieters, I'd say. 10 years deep at this point at least 10 years and yeah. you name it we've done it um the apple diet the cabbage soup diet um, oh my god <laughs> drinking <laughs> nothing but v8 for a month and a half to lose weight um low carb low, zero carb high carb literally everything we're just both very tired of spending 95 percent of our lives trying to get fit or lose weight or look good in that one dress for that one event or for that one vacation exactly. or whatever and then gaining all of the weight and then some because crash dieting does not work. Yeah, I mean everyone knows crash dieting is not sustainable. I mean you're starving yourself for a short period of time to physically on the scale lose a couple pounds and then you put food into your body and you gain the weight back. Yeah, and it's it's not even like I'd say like when I'm crash dieting it's not even a some I'm not binging immediately. Mm -hmm. I'm saying what I'm eating. What you're I eating would, normal. You're fueling yeah, yourself. Yeah, what to I would call a normal now amount of food. But guess yeah. what? I'm gaining weight because my body hasn't had what it needed mm -hmm. for a month. Yeah. So it you're gonna put on weight. We both come from a past of disordered eating. Like she stated, all the diets we've tried them all. Um, I wouldn't say to the point that we've you know had eating disorders, but. We have bad habits and there's no balance left in our diet and we want to get to the point where we can get to our goal weight and know that if we, you know, eat healthy for the most part, we're you not going to gain indulge. 12 pounds. And you can indulge on weekends or Friday nights. You can go out and have a couple drinks. You can have a slice of pizza. Within reason. There. Within reason. Yeah, of course. It's always within reason. Don't go out on a Saturday night, eat an entire pizza and be yourself. like, oh no, why exactly. did I lose weight? But like you can have a slice of pizza here and there. You can have a couple cocktails and you shouldn't feel bad about it because life is honestly too short to be worrying about every single meal that's going into you and how it's going to affect you yeah. the next day on the scale. So why we actually started this YouTube channel now. So at this point in my life, um, I've been crash dieting for like 10 years. I'm 25 years old, at least 10 years. God, probably more than 10 years. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, probably more. Probably 10 for me. Like I'd say pro I'd started when I was like, I was the only 10 year old in Weight Watchers. Mm -hmm. And obviously that didn't do it for me as you can tell. But, um, <laughs> At this point, I cannot fit into any of my work pants, any of my jeans, and my coworkers probably think, oh, look at her dresses, she's dressing cute for summer, you know, dresses and sandals, but no, I can't fit into any of my pants. So obviously this is the time to change something. And no, I don't want to buy new pants. I like the pants that I have. Exactly. And what I'm wearing now is something my mom calls maternity dresses. They're not actually maternity dresses, but she insists that I look pregnant in them. And in the back of my head, I keep thinking that if I go to a supermarket, like someone's going to ask me when I'm due. So maybe it's <laughs> the right time. Yeah, now's the to, time to buckle down. To, I'm exhausted. I've been doing fad diets for way too long. I don't want to like count every single calorie like you can count every single calorie and then as soon as you have like let's say a weekend where you don't count or a couple days where you don't count anything and guess what if you're doing a fad diet you're gonna gain it all back this is the life of like a cereal yo-yo dieter basically having a journal where you write everything out everything down for a week and then the weekend you mess up so it's like starting over okay let's not let's eat like crap for the next yeah, week i don't want to like eat perfectly monday to friday and then saturday go out to dinner with my husband eat too much and then sunday i'm like well you know what i i feel hungover i, I ruined food. it yesterday what's the point yeah, of getting back on track we want a balanced life a like balance, we want yeah. Like, we're tired of having this dictate our lives. We want a balanced life where it's like, okay, you want to drink, have a healthier meal. I hate that it's gotten to the point that I'll start off on a good foot on, you know, a Monday morning. I'll have a great breakfast, a great lunch. I get home from work tired, and I'm just like, I really want a bowl of pasta or pizza or whatever. And you eat it. And you eat it, and then... 20 minutes after you're done, you feel awful about it. Because, you know what, that's an entire day's... Yeah 
worth of work and that's just gone and not even worth of work you were obsessing the whole day about you knew what you were going to make when you got home you knew a healthy meal plan that you had planned for the week and then you ruined it there's days where like i'll like have oatmeal overnight oats for breakfast that i've prepared mm -hmm. the night before i will have spiralized zucchini for lunch black bean vegan meat substitute exactly i'll get home from work and i will be so hungry because i'm not thinking like you know i need to have a snack during the day i need to be rational about this i'm thinking calories I'm calories ravenous, calories, yeah. calories i come home i'm starving without or you even had a bad day something yeah. happened you just want to have cake yeah. or wine and it's everything's gone like i'll go and i'll ruin it over like a piece of kielbasa and then once <laughs> i have the piece of kielbasa i'm like you know what i'm done and then i just keep eating it's not even food that i like i just keep eating it's you're not even yeah. thinking straight we've honestly gone from i would say extreme opposite ends of like eating disorder type tendencies like where we would restrict so much and now like i found in like the past couple years i'm more on the end of like a binge eating type of yeah, you binge you eat know, on like, the weekends and then you eat nothing during the week. Or, or you, like you said, you eat great. You have your overnight oats and then you have your salad for lunch. And then you get home and you see, or you know, you go to a company party or dinner and you see all the appetizers. You eat all of them. You have five glasses of wine and that's, that's binging. That is I binging. I mean, there's no healthy lifestyle. It's all about moderation, really. So there was like a month and a half where I was like, oh my God, I bought these jeans and I really want to fit into these jeans and they're nice European jeans. And I'm like, okay, I need to fit into these. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I want to fit into these quickly. So I heard about juice cleansing. I'm like, I'm a college kid. I don't have the money to be spending on Another these nice, fad, fresh, yeah. best juices. Yeah. I don't, I also don't have the time to be making my own juice. I bought a big case of um, V8 vegetable juice. And I'm like, this is great. I could live off of this. This one case that cost me like $15, that's a week easy of food. Yeah. So for a month and a half, I was like, just literally living off of V8. That's it. And smoking heavily. I was a smoker for eight years. Curbs the hunger. Smoking is very bad for you. But I was a smoker at that point. Mm -hmm. um, drinking nothing but V8. I fit into the jeans. It was great. I was happy for like maybe two weeks. Um, I went on a vacation and I started eating. I was like, you know what? I'll yeah. just go back to the. I'll, I'll go back to the juicing. Like I'll just start eating. Like it'll be fine. And at this point, my skin looks horrible because your body's not meant to just be living off this processed exactly. juice. Uh, my hair is falling out. Like, I just, I look like a hot mess. All my work eventually crumbles because I start eating. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to go back to the juices. And it's still like that voice in the back of your head. Like, mm -hmm. you know what? You had a bad day. That's okay. For the next three days, you're just going to drink juice. And you're just, it's going to be okay. It's going to like even it, out. Yeah. yeah. And it, it doesn't work like and that. And it's like, what are we doing ourselves for these quick results? We feel awful. We look awful because this type of like drastic change in weight it's not it's not good for you the direction we want our channel to go is that we want to promote like a real life story of like this is us trying to find a healthy lifestyle and maintain a healthy lifestyle while showing you some healthy recipes ways you can remake different recipes that you want to eat or you want that chicken parm or you want the pizza make it healthy you know healthy doesn't mean that you boring. can't eat it we want to show you you know our experiences, I have a past and currently I'm going through a period where I, a I am pre-diabetic. I have, have PCOS. Diseases. Yeah, like I was diagnosed with PCOS two years ago, but who knows how long I've had it. That is something that mm -hmm. affects me all the time. That's something I need to be conscious about because at the end of the day, I do believe PCOS can affect your weight and I do believe... It has been a major factor in my weight, but it's not going to stop me from getting to where I want. Exactly. It's something she's going to have forever. Diabetes may not be something that, you know, I develop in the future, but I can cure what I have. She can maintain and better her lifestyle to help work around having a chronic illness like PCOS. There's a lot of awful side effects with both, you know, conditions. And though one may not be curable, there's a lot of things you could do to modify your diet or your lifestyle or your exercise regimen that will help, you know, combat yeah. those symptoms. And it's true. I mean, a lot of the women that have PCOS are overweight, but there are several that are not overweight. And it's because they find a way to combat the symptoms and, you know, a lifestyle a that works for them. It's a fight. Mm -hmm. And this entire journey that we're starting is going to be a fight. We're gonna eat healthy. We're gonna try not to fall off the wagon. We're humans, we're not perfect. Exactly. I'm sure there'll be days where we do, but yeah. we're gonna work out hard. We're gonna eat healthy and try to mm -hmm.
do this the best way we can. What we really want is to be real. And yeah, we this want isn't, this to isn't show a our journey. Quick fix. This is like we want to make a lifestyle. Yeah. We've change. gone through our whole life trying to do these quick fix things that just don't they work don't long work. term. And maybe for once we will actually be held accountable and actually do our hardest, do this for our health because at this point we need to. I need to fit, fit into my pants. <laughs> so we're gonna be uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sundays are gonna be our main filming days, we've decided since we don't live together and we can only see each other every couple times a week. Sundays we're gonna try to film our vlog for the day, which we're trying to make Sunday our like run day in Jersey City. Our first Sunday is going yeah. to be <laughs> running along the Jersey City waterfront with all the other skilled runners yes and me and her just kind of dying yeah and, we're just you know. trying to make this as real as possible uh, the other days we're gonna just stick to the gym and run on the treadmills but obviously we're planning for a 5k but we were runners at one point i was a cross-country runner in high school yes and i ran distance track it's hard to believe at this point especially since now like everyone's like, you know, 5Ks, 5Ks, I'm like, oh my god, a 5K sounds impossible. And exactly. I remember in high school, a 5K used to be like an average run. Yeah. And our first video will be us trying to run on the Jersey City waterfront. Yeah, and we figured that'd be a nice scenic view to start off the vlogs, And right? we'd entertain the other runners. Yes, because we are going to be embarrassing, I think. Thanks for watching our intro to our channel video. And wish us luck. Wish us luck that you will see us on... And you will see the first video after this on Monday night. Right? Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.